Is this the week right. or is next week going to be the week that sets Walmart in motion to get back towards that level? I do think so, Scott, and I think so because I think both uh, Walmart and Target, who's reporting, I think they're just positioned so well coming out of the pandemic, going into the pandemic, of course, because of the essentials, but coming out of it as well. And just like I talk about with Target, I think there's a certain stickiness there, Scott. I think all of the new subscribers to all the different types of, of shopping that people are doing, I think that's going to be sticky for Walmart. The only issue, of course, is the fact that they have so much on the grocery side that that does affect their margins. But other than that, I think it's going to be a pretty big quarter once again for Walmart. Now, without telling me that Brian Cornell is the greatest human being on planet Earth, Pete, which I don't want you Look to at do. The stock, man. I don't want you to do. <laughs> okay. Don't do it. All I right. want you to tell me. Don't do it. I want you to tell me yeah. why Target has so dramatically outpaced Walmart from a share price perspective, okay? Over a year, okay. 76% percent really for Target, 13% for Walmart. Over three, over yep. one month, three month, and year to date, Target's in the green, mm -hmm. um, handsomely so. <laughs> Walmart hasn't done anything, <laughs> and it's negative. Why? Right. Well, I think it, it does come down to the fact that Walmart did make that move and then it paused. Right. And, and meanwhile, Target, because of the stickiness that I'm talking about here, and I'm talking about all these digital sales, all the different things that Target's been doing that everybody's been trying to do as well. But the execution that they've done there, Scott, I think when you look at it and I've always brought this up and this is there's twofold really right now what we're looking at. Target still today trades at a cheaper valuation than Walmart just so everybody understands. So it's still less expensive, despite the fact that it's made the move that you've talked about. So when you look at this and you look also at margins and Target's margins versus Walmart, it's not even close because it's only 20% of their business model is in the grocery section. So they just continue to do these partnerships. They continue to do the right thing. And when you look at it and from almost every perspective and you put one against the other, you can understand why Target's outperformed. And they still have room to outperform, I think, going forward.